Hey guys, here's step four of building your own website. This step asks you to change how your website looks. So it turns out WordPress is a content management system, or CMS for short. A CMS allows you to separate your content from how it appears on the page. This means it's easy to change what your site looks like without affecting your work. WordPress does all of this through what it calls themes. Your assignment is to choose, install, and activate new themes on both of your sites. It can be the same theme for each of them, or you can pick a different theme for each. One of the most fun things about having your own website is being able to make it look and act like you want. And so this should be one of the more fun steps in this assignment. So let me show you how to do this. First thing you need to do is log into one of your websites. You can do this by going to Reclaim Hosting and logging in. From the control panel, choose WordPress under your applications. And here, instead of clicking on install this application, you could go to my applications, scroll down and find your site, and click the WP admin link. Or you could simply go to your website slash WP hyphen admin and log in with the password that you set up. Once you're here, you'll go to appearance and themes. You can see that your site already has three themes installed. Each of these are made by the people that make the WordPress software, and they are named for the years in which they came out. You can see that my site currently has the 2023 theme turned on. And if I go to visit the site, I'll close this extra tab, you can see that it looks very similar to what we're seeing here. It doesn't have maybe all of the, the stuff you're seeing on this page, but it resembles that. So it's really easy to turn on and change your look by clicking one of these other themes. And I could see a live preview of what the site would look like if I turned this theme on. And if I like what it's looking like, I can click Activate and Publish. And then when I go to the site and I reload it, you can see just like that, everything is different. Now I have all these paintings by Bert Morisot. If I didn't want to do the live preview, it'd be very easy to simply just click this Activate button here. And just like that, I've changed from 2021 to 2022. If I reload this site, you can see the colors have changed, the layout has changed, and so on. So very easy to turn on to activate these different themes that are already loaded. But it would be kind of boring to have everyone in the class using the same themes. So what I would like you to do for this assignment is to find something new. There are two ways to do this. The first is simply to click this Add New button. And you will see a range of themes displayed here. In fact, there are 5,845. It's very easy to sort of scroll through this list and see something that maybe seems attractive to you. Botiga, I've always wanted to sell lotions. Now, of course, just because this has got lotions on it doesn't mean that's what your site needs to do. It's just, it's giving you the sort of color, the fonts, the layout of different things. So once you've found something you like, you can hover over it. You could click details and get a preview to sort of see what it would look like. And there's an install button here. Or from here, I could simply click install. Once that's done, I choose to activate the new theme. It's now activated. And if I reload my website, it now has a different layout. I'm not entirely sure why Bert Morisot has stuck with us, but there it is. So I've gone ahead and changed the front page of the website to get rid of all the Bert Morisot stuff that was added when I activated 2021. And now you can see this is the Botiga site with just a post on it. There's no header image and there's no other images sort of showing up, but those are content that I could add. The theme is set up to do those things. And at the moment, I'm just getting the bones of it laid out. If I decided I didn't especially like this theme, it's really easy to go back to the themes menu, click add new, and start hunting for another one. 
In fact, up here you can see there are ways to filter by particular features if I want to have perhaps a two column or maybe a grid layout a bit more like Pinterest. Then I can sort of apply filters and see the, oh heavens, this, was, this seems terrible. Let's check it out. Uh, if I want to suddenly become a dentist, use the dentist dental care, which again, just because that's what the theme is named doesn't mean it's the only thing that will work, but it becomes very easy to sort of search through themes Let's see what this looks like now that we've got it installed. There it is. My better than amazing website now has a bit of a uh, dentist about it. So this add new button is a very easy way to add new themes. However, there are a lot of WordPress themes that will not show up in this list, no matter how long it goes on for. And it does go on for a very long time. If you just keep scrolling, it will keep loading new things. People who are designers often cut their teeth making WordPress themes. It's a great way to get used to working on the web and with a content management system that is used by more than 40% of the entire internet. And so you can do a simple Google for WordPress theme. And you will find them at wordpress.org, but you will find 10,000 free WordPress themes. Now, a lot of WordPress themes are not free because again, people who are designers make them and then sell them and that's fine. They should be able to do that. So maybe you'd want to search for free. And here we go, 20 best free WordPress themes, 2023. And right here, we've got one called Sydney. Uh, there's Botiga, we've seen that before. And you can sort of scroll down, find one that strikes your fancy. So maybe, Let's go back up here to Neve, Nevi, not sure. And once you're here, you might download it and it will show up as a zip file. I'll go back to my themes. And when I choose add new, instead of just searching through this list, I can also choose to upload the theme. When I do this, I have to point my browser to where that theme is. In this case, it's in my downloads and it was called Neve. And I click open and install now. Once the theme is installed, you can go back to the themes page. You'll see that this one recommends a particular plugin for customizing things. A lot of themes want to use extra plugins and that's something I'll talk about a few steps from now. When I return to the themes page, you can see this new theme is here and I can simply choose to activate it. And once again, my site has changed in appearance. Now I don't have a lot of content here and so there's not much to manage, but hopefully you can see the colors, the typeface, the layout is changing a little bit as you add more content and play with more of the settings in your particular theme, you will see more of these differences. So that's the second way. Again, you can simply click add new and scroll and find the ones you want, or you can hunt around the web to find a theme that you like and download it and install it. Now remember to do this for both of your sites. So both your own personal site and the site that you're gonna be using for the class. You can use the same theme on both of them, or you can choose to have different themes. As I said at the beginning, this is one of the most fun things to do when you're working on a website. And so take as much time as you need to find something that really speaks to you. And that's it. Step four is done. You've chosen, installed, and activated new themes for your site.